Hello and welcome. In this video, I will talk about a very interesting scenario and important scenario in fixed assets area, which is shift wise depreciation. In India, especially in manufacturing industry, the machines are running in shifts. So suppose some machines are running in one shift, some machines are running in two shifts and some machines for some days it is running in three different shifts. That's why government of India or as per Indian Companies Act, the companies which are manufacturing, they need to adhere to the you know lines that as the machines are running in three different shifts or more than one shifts, the company needs to depreciate more on those machines. That is basically the shift wise shift wise wise depreciation. Let's take an example. Say suppose my depreciation percentage for one machine is five percent, and if the machines are working in single shifts, only the five percent will be counted. However, if the machine, the same machines are running in two double chips, that will be 150% depreciation, at which means 7.5%. And then if that is running in triple shift, that will be accounted as 200% depreciation, which means 10% of the depreciation value. Let's see how we can, you know, cater this requirement in Dynamics 65 Finance and Operation. Let's take a look. The first thing we need to do is we need to go to fixed asset parameter and then the prerequisite is it must be Indian localization company because it is only applicable or available in Indian localization. And here under India depreciation, we need to click enable this company's ag depreciation. And then in the minimum working days for Switzerland industries, we can have some days like 180 days and minimum working days for non seasonal industries is 240 days. This is basically helps to calculate the depreciation based on the industry like non seasonal industry or seasonal industry. This calculation is available in Microsoft documentation how this calculation and formula works. I will not talk about this. I will talk about the functionality how it works in system after this we need to go to depreciation profile as for the normal setup we need to create a non depreciation profile which i have already created as machines and here percentage i have given five percentage i suppose and you need to check with your accounts team what is the percentage of this service state line percentage and then here it calls ship depreciation I need to enable this and once I enable it I I will see or you will see ship depreciation toggle is enabled from here we need to enable like from date to date from which day to which day what is the percentage I can have more than one you know from date and to date based on this setup the percentage will work for this case like I mentioned in my example for single ship it is 5 percentage for double shift it is 7.25 percentage and for triple shift it is you know 10 percent which is 100 percent for single uh, 150 for double and 200 for triple shift once i'm done with this i need to go to i need to create a books or if you have books you can add as the depreciation profile say i have created a books call machines you can name it as per the requirement of the business here one important thing is this functionality works with day wise calendar which is very much required for indian localization for other functionalities for depreciation and then here also i can define ship depreciation so for this case i have enabled or i have created the ship depreciation as double shift but for a you know best practice you can have this a single shift because you never know which machine will be double shift or which machine will be the single or triple so it's best to have a single shift 
However, on the fixed asset card, you can change it which machine will work on single, double, or triple. This is as for defaulting to the fixed asset card. So, best practice is to have a single shift or non seasonal industry and seasonal industry. So, this setup this setup will flow to the fixed asset master. After this, as for the normal way, we need to create a fixed asset group. Or if you have fixed asset group created, you can attach the book into the fixed asset group. I will not create, I have already created a fixed asset group. Say this one. And I have added this fixed asset book into this group. Okay. That's it. The setup is done. Now I will go to fixed asset card and I can create a new fixed asset. However, I have already created and acquired a fixed asset in the interest, interest of time. So this is the fixed asset I have created for this group book. And I have already acquired this to show you the depreciation calculation or the depreciation setup, how we have done it. Here I have acquired it and if you see there is an option called ship depreciation. So as I mentioned earlier, the ship depreciation also works with card level because you never know which machine will work on which day for single, double or triple. So Microsoft gave the nice functionality where we can change the you no know, depreciation or shift wise depreciation card level as well. Let's see. For this machine, I have added three different periods for you know from April or for April, the machine works in a single shift, and from May to fifth May, it will work in double shift. And for rest of the year, so rest of the days, it will work in triple shift. And as you see, type of industry, it is coming from the setup access pixel parameter. We have given 180 days and 240 days based on the setup and all. The calculation will work. Now, I know the depreciation needs to be calculated differently for different different period. See, if I click on profile. Okay, and we will notice uh, till April the depreciation is 12.29. If I change this to double shift from single shift, you will notice from 1st of May the depreciation percent depreciation amount will be changed. Like, see, it is 15 per it is now 150 percent which is 7.25 percent precisely and then if I change it to triple shift it will be 200 percent which means 10 percent so it was 12 rupees something and if I make it triple shift it will be 200 percent which means 24 rupees from the for rest of the days and years I hope you understood this one the calculation I will not explain more on this uh, this is very much self-explanatory what I will do, I will run the depreciation for your virtual so that you can understand how this will work while we run the depreciation. So now I will click on lines. I will click on proposal and I will click on depreciation proposal. So I have selected this one. Uh, so from the filter, I have selected this fixed asset where I was showing you and the shift wise depreciation now i will run this till july to show you the different different percentage for different different periods let's wait for some time so now you see as this is a day wise calendar every day depreciation will be calculated so till april as per our setup the depreciation is 5 percentage which is 17.83 from May <coughs> sorry uh, till this date April this is 12, 12 rupees which is 5 percentage from May 1st to 5 5th of May it is 17.83 because it is 150 percent double ship depreciation and from 6th of May, the rest of the day, it is 200% depreciation because it is a triple shift and as per our setup, it should calculate 
200% which is uh, 10% precisely on the depletion percentage that's it for this you know this calculation however i will also show you for the straight line service method where percentage is not there how it will be calculated so okay i will now delete this You can fast forward while it is deleted yeah it is deleted and now I will show you another depreciation method which is let's say I will go to depreciation profile and I will select this depreciation profile which is service life a straight line service life where percentage is not there here also we can have this ship depreciation and it is also applicable reducing as well reducing balance method I will show the straight line service method where I need to create this depression profile and I need to enable the ship depression to yes and in the ship depreciation unlike the previous one I was giving the exact percentage however here I don't need to give the exact percentage like 5% here I only need to give the single ship percentage which is 100% double ship percentage is 150% triple ship percentage is 200% so what system will do system need to system will check based on our you no know, card setup which I will show you now if I check this one which I have created already for you know in the interest of time I've already acquired this one so if I go to card level I have only you know given the one period I can also give multiple periods like I have given the last asset but for this one I have given only one period say this flat rate which is triple shift from today till 2028 it will work like triple shift but in future if I want I can have I can end this one I can create another period with double or single shift so for now it is 200% it is coming from the master setup and for this case if I check on profile and system will not show uh, the correct value on single and double but it will only show you the correct value in the triple shift because single shift and double shift is not applicable as per the current setup of this fixed asset so if i change this from single shift to triple shift it will give us the value now it is showing 10 but it will give us the value exactly as to 200 percent based on the period setup as deadline setup I need to refresh each one and from see it is now changed so it since it is working for three different ships it, it, it the depreciation value the depreciation value will be you know extra for these periods okay so that is how the depreciation or we can say shift wise depreciation works yes for the Indian localization and it is mainly applicable or specially applicable for manufacturing industry where the machine works in rotation basis some sometimes you know sometimes it works on single or double or triple so based on that we can have different different period with different different percentage of depreciation i hope this content or video has been useful for you you can have some you know test in your environment and then you can sell this for sell this functionality to your customer thanks for watching bye for now